I'm now at the Wilderau Distillery where I will do a little spirit tasting. Uh, and at uh, the beginning I want to taste the uh, gin uh, made here, which is made out of 27 Feinbos. Uh, well, there's not really a direct translation for that. However, it's 27 ingredients which only grow here in Cape Town. Usually I never drink gin pure or straight. I usually mix it with tonic, but let's have a sip of it. Oh, that's actually nice. It's actually a gin which you can drink straight. And I think that's why we should have another sip. Tastes wonderful, tastes wonderful. I will link the drinks in my description. The next one I'm going to taste is the Williams Pear or Williams Birne for the German people watching here. Uh, I think we all know that it's made a clear spirit from pear. Um, so let's have a Oh, schnapps, schnapps for those again from Germany. Let's have a taste of that as well. That's a really smooth one. And I think it's very difficult to find a smooth pear schnapps, but that one is quite excellent. And also this one, is it worth a second sip? Cheers. Next one on the list is the Apfel Calvados. Again, Apfel, <laughs> apple of course. So it's likely, uh, more likely like an apple brandy. Usually I prefer a cognac, but let's see. So this one uh, rested for 10 years in French oak barrels. So that sounds very promising. Let's have a sip. Would not be my preference, but I'm sure a person who likes Calvados would actually love it. But still, it's worth a second sip. So last but not least is a beer schnapps. It's actually distilled beer. I've never heard of it myself, but I have a big interest in tasting it. So let's have a look. It still should have some beer flavor. That's the smoothest out of all of them. That's actually really, really lacquer, as a South African would say. And of course, I also will finish that glass. And it's the last one. So I hope you enjoyed it. Wilderer Distillery. I will, of course, link it. You should visit it when you're in Cape Town. Cheers.